Frank, standing position. Permission to speak freely, sir. Carry on. I wonder if it might be possible for you not to refer to me in monkey terms. Just one of the men, sir. Just because a cat's born in a kennel doesn't make it a dog, Mr. Tull. Gentlemen, we are all, I assume, men of God, so I do not take it lightly when I tell you that this is your Bible. The new SS-135 and SS-143 training manual. Distillation of everything we've learned in this war to date. You will read it, understand it, devour it, and when the time comes, regurgitate their contents to devastating effect. Every scenario, every principle and procedure, every detail must become second nature, embedded up here. You will be tested on every word, every symbol. Are you with us, Mr. Toll? Ain't you already? Suppose you have had far worse than that on the football pitch. Far worse. Hmm. Interesting place, though, this, isn't it? The brightest and the best being trained so that we can lead more men to their deaths. It's very optimistic of you. Am I wrong? <laughs> I mean, you've been there. So if you feel like that, why are you here? Ah. My father and my grandfather were both officers. As much as I hate it, I have to be. Question is, why are you here, Tom? Allowing them to put the wind up you, make an ass of you. No one's making an ass of me, all right? You've seen the scale of this massacre, and yet you jump when they offer you the chance to lead more working men to their deaths. <laughs> I don't question a Negro being here, Tom. I question why a Negro, treated as you are in this country, would want to be here in the first place. Thank you, Connie. Remembered my name? Yes, it's one word. I'm not stupid, you know. I didn't say you were. No, you didn't. Sorry. It's... Thank you. Thank you for opening the door for me. It's all right. So is that how you ladies do it, then, here? Girls taking the lead? I don't quite understand what you mean. You know, opening doors, saying hello. If you mean do we have more manners than the English girls, and the answer is yes. Well, I'm glad to hear it. I'm terribly, terribly glad to hear it. So, uh... What do you well-mannered girls do on a Saturday night in a village like this, then? If she's mindful of her reputation, she keeps herself to herself. Oh, reputation, reputation. I have lost the immortal part of myself, and all that remains is bestial. Something my brother would say. Anyway, listen, how about you and me find a town far away from here, where no one knows us, and, well, we can be free as birds. Are all you coloured boys this forward? I, I, don't know. I, I can't speak for anyone else, but me, I believe in carpe diem. What's that? It's my favourite saying. It means seize the day. What African language is that? Very ancient, ancient African language. Latin. <laughs> so what do you say? Are we stepping out? No, we are not 